The following is for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. Against all the evil that hell can conjure, all the wickedness that mankind can produce, we will send unto them only you. Rip and tear until it is done. Hell yeah. One hell of an intro. I got chills. Welcome back, guys, to a brand new playthrough on the Mark and Nine channel. This is Doom Eternal, part of Mark After Dark. Let's go ahead and get used to this a little bit. So I, uh, I am a bit of a mouse and keyboard player over controller, but I feel like this game was designed specifically for for controller in mind. So let's see what we got. Let's see the jump. Okay, no mod. That might be reload. Okay. Let's play around a little bit, shall we? All right. Uh, when you damage a demon enough, become staggered and be, uh, begins to flash. When close, press down the right stick to glory kill it. Glory killing always spawns health drops. The less health you have, the more health drops the demons spawn. All right, cool. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's just melee. He can take a lot of hits. Oh, that was sick. His freaking Assassin's Creed style arm blade. Oh. <laughs> yes, so much yes. Codex entry, whatever. Maybe that was the other button. All right, press X to instantly chainsaw demons and refill your ammo. I love that. One pip of the chainsaw fuel automatically recharges over time. Gas canister pickups can also fuel. Okay. Damn, the visuals here are really good. This game's not old, 2020. I wonder, okay, so when I shoot, what am I doing here? Shooting? 
Is there a door? A, like a handle or something? Oh, nasty. I just noticed these guys. Disgust. What does it want us to do? Do I just get up really close to it? What's going on here? Something's missing. I'm missing a thing here. What's the deal? Maybe there's like an interact button. Punch it. There we go. Okay, there we are. Uh, press A to jump into the air. Press A again while in the air to double jump. I love the double jump. Very useful. Armor. Oh, hey, this is the upgrade guy. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We upgraded quite a few weapons in the 2016 Doom game. This is a direct sequel to that, if that wasn't obvious. This is the weapon mod selection screen. Interact with a mod bot and then unlock a mod for an available weapon. Use mods to expand each weapon's gameplay behavior. All right, sticky bombs. Uh, full auto. Oh my god, why would you choose... Well, let's see what sticky bombs do. Okay, that's pretty sweet. But let's go ahead and grab this one. Full auto. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Bring on the carnage. Does he punch it like he always did? Deactivate a weapon mod, press or hold left trigger, and then press right trigger to fire. Uh, read each mod's description in the dossier to learn more. Search the environment to locate more mod bots and expand your weapon's capabilities. Okay, we'll play with those guys in a minute, but first... Just want to give a quick look over. Oh my god, that's so great. Yes. Is there something over there? Going nuts? So you don't have to reload. That's... variations of that, the better. Most games I prefer mouse and keyboard, but this one, it just feels a little bit more right, somehow. I wish that'd give us armor. Or anything else useful over here? So those army guys, those were our buddies. What do we have here? Oh, are they health potions or something? I guess. So I don't have to reload the shotgun. That seems odd, doesn't it? Is this where he came in at? Yeah. Is that green flame? Not fire. Okay. Or uh, not armor, rather. Hell barges. God, he's so awesome. My soul remains guarded. You can't. <laughs> he's like, I don't give a shit. Damn. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna have a hard time picking thumbnails for this game for the YouTube playthrough, because <laughs> everything is so violent. <laughs> There's just no way YouTube would take it down. God, 
he's awesome. No fall damage. Holy shit! Terminated. The demonic consumption of Earth has been reduced by 36.8%. There are two hell priests remaining. What the hell? That's crazy. How do you take that thing down? Can I kill these idiots? Damn it. Too far away. Shotgun doesn't do enough damage. Dude, that was insane. You know what? Wouldn't it be so freaking awesome if there was like a Pacific Rim Kaiju type game like this and you're just a soldier and you get like occasional mech battles but you have to just fight back as a human? God, that'd be freaking awesome. Is there a ledge grab? Oh, okay, there is. Good. Dude, that thing was so cool. Sticky bombs and full auto. That's really all that we have, because that's the only gun that we have, huh? Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Wait, is there tiers to this? What are those little lines indicating there? What does it mean? Uh, just up massive damage quickly. Great against bigger, slow-moving targets. Choose through ammo, so keep a chance already. Quick recover, you faster transform. Huh. Interesting, so you can't unlock this. There might be something else we'll have to come back to that for later. That's all right. So how do you toggle between these? When you have two mods. Uh, there, <laughs> thank you for the answer. Uh, up on the D. Cool. You can hear that thing stomping around. Take that. All right, the objective marker shows you where your current objective is. No freaking kidding. Uh, it's present on the compass and the auto map. Press down on the D-pad to show the objectives in the world. I want to stay on Earth and fight more of these things. I think that's freaking cool that we're here doing that. I don't like the idea that I don't have to reload. Because, like, I really, really want to reload this. Is that a secret, you think? Jump on this and then jump over there? I'm not sure, but I want to. I'm really itching to do that. Whoa. Some sort of UAC mech that got brought down? Jesus. Well, Jesus isn't helping, that's for sure. Do I jump down? I think so, right? Yeah. Interesting. These military bots are... are uh, demons are fighting other demons. We've seen this before. Demons fighting other demons, but I don't know why the, the UAC is uh, fighting against... Or as a demon is fighting against his own kind, like, why would you do that? Right now, you know? I always thought that when the demons fought, it was like some sort of territory thing. But now, it's like you're, you're taking over the planet, right? You gotta work together. But... Yeah, they don't seem to give a shit about that at all. Dude, this is... This feels kind of like... Halo and Hell. Like, as far as the campaign. Am I wrong about that? That's Maybe I am. That's what it feels like. Oh, cool. Nice little parkour action there. Certain demons have weak points that can be shot for extra damage or even disable their abilities. Weak points flash red when damaged. Disable their abilities. Or even disable their abilities. Okay, weak points flash red when damaged. The uh, Arachnatron is a heavy ranged demon. It's, sure it's a weak point that can be destroyed, disabling its long range attacks. Explore the codex to learn more about demon weak points. I would like something like a, a pistol to toggle through, but this is the only thing that I have. This is the shotgun. Not that I'm complaining. Where is this Arachnatron thing? It's gotta be nearby, right? There it is, sub bitch. Okay, but I don't want to necessarily do that just yet. Oh, that was a good one. Ah, 
missed the ledge grab. Around here, there we go. Awesome. Not going to get tired of that. Oh, hey, a whole new weapon. They are health potions. Good to know. What does this do? Oh, it's a jump. Okay. All this slaughtering demon is making me hungry as hell. Did we kill everything? I think so. I wonder if there are chapters in this game. We'll find out. Press right bumper to quickly swap to your previous weapon. Hold it to activate the weapon wheel and choose from all your weapons. Okay. Damn. Battle rifle looks like a bitch now. Sorry, Master Chief. Is there... Hmm. Map update? Finding an auto map station will reveal all undiscovered areas on the map. You can view the map in the map tab of the dossier. Your auto map can also reveal valuable items in the world as you explore a location. So check back regularly to see what you have uncovered. Good to know. Wow. Yeah, I missed a few things. Well, that's life. I'm here to mess shit up. I'm not. I don't really care about all those secrets. Give me more enemies. Scott's Tots. Damn, run out of ammo so quickly. the smell of a slaughter in the morning. Oh, there is dudes in there. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, is that... Do I do something with that? Hmm. We have secrets around here, but they're like... Kind of tricky to... Get in there. Ooh, that was a good one. Lift him off his feet. This is pretty open. Like, there's a lot of open... Openness to these maps. I'm surprised at how much we can do. Or explore, I should say. Oh, he got me. Okay, let's take a look and see what's going on in this thing. Ah, uh, we gotta get up. So there's a way up there. Oh. Somehow we can get up there. I wonder... I'm 
unless, no, can't fit through that. How do we get up that? I want to figure that out. Double jump doesn't get you anywhere near closely to that, huh? Outside, maybe? I'm not going to spend too much time on it, but I do want to see if I can get there. There it is. This is it. Okay, how the hell? There we go. Yeah, there it is. Ha! <laughs> cool. The secrets in Doom are never really all that difficult. Like, they want you to find him. Like, that one was a little complicated, but it wasn't complicated in the end. Like, I thought it was, but it's not. Plus, the map shows the secrets, too, so... To be honest... Yellow access key card, probably, for that. Um, this game probably has... Or Doom as a whole has... The easiest secrets to find in the later games. Slayer can attach to pitted walls by pressing... What does pitted mean exactly? Huh. Climb by pressing those or look around and jump. Interesting. Pitted walls. That. Okay. That's pretty cool. That's new. Where was that shit in the last game? Dude, that mech thing was dope. This is so cool. The set pieces in this game are brilliantly designed. Gotcha. Oh. Nice. Somebody's throwing something at me. Where are you? There you are. Reload necessary. The hell are these jet things? Looks like some sort of techno demon thing. Jesus. What? Was that a fist thing? Why did he do that? Huh. I wish I could use my fist a bit more. Uh, let's see. Sticky bombs. Precision bolt. Ooh. Yep, I'm all about that. Grabbing that one for sure. Sweet. Thank you, little drone. Ah, yeah. Oh my god. These things are awful. What is this now? Frag grenade. I was wondering why we didn't have grenades already. Press left over to launch a grenade, which explodes after landing on the ground. That's more like a rocket than a grenade, isn't it? it is, it's not lobbed. It's just... Oh, it is lobbed. Okay. The explosion damages and falters any demons... Hit by the blast. Combo with other weapons. Frag grenade gradually recharges over time. Cool. <laughs> the 
Kakao Demon. It is a pressure demon with a powerful close range bite. If you can fire a sticky bomb or a frag grenade into its mouth, it instantly staggers. Explore the codex to learn more about the demon weak points. That's kind of cool. Oh shit. I didn't realize that was a thing. Got it. That was good. What? Oh, you? You bitch. That was cool. The low ammo forces you to run back and forth between your weapons, which is fine. Don't mind that. Oh, that was a good one. I just had max fuel. That was sweet. That's a new one. We didn't see that one before. Grab what little ammo that we have here. I don't think there's anything useful in this area, but let's double check just to make sure I'm right about that. A little more ammo. Nothing else. All right. But I might as well just check. Dude, that's wild. I wonder if we're gonna get a chance to rumble in one of those things. We have to, right? That big ass demon. It's like the only way to take it down. UAC would like to thank you for your support during this transition. Your suffering continues to inspire us. You get up to that. Did I miss my chance? Hmm. Maybe I have to get up there first and then? I can climb that, right? Interesting. There it is. Okay.
guess you don't get why they fight. Lesser demon, maybe? All right, I want to know how much longer this is before we wrap up the chapter or the level, the mission, whatever. I'm curious. Nice. Jesus, hell. That's everyone. Forget about the future. Oh, we gotta jump out this window, huh? How many times I'm gonna get copyright claim for this music? That scared me. I didn't know if, that, if I <laughs> killed that one or not. All right, let's get to it. I get that. All right. nearby. She is inside that demonic citadel. I will mark her location on your HUD. Damn. I wonder... I'm trying to find a good point to stop, but the game's not giving me anything. 
This must be, like, the boss. And I was taking my sweet time looking around and slaughtering everything I saw. The gathering of hell priests is located just above your location. My scans indicate there is a lift at the center of this facility. Interesting. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and stop it anyway. Whoa, dude. Look at that. I didn't realize it was carrying like a giant thing. That's freaking rad. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up right here anyway. I don't know how much more there is to this level or mission or if there are chapters in this game, but we'll find out when we continue on with the playthrough next time. For now, thank you guys for watching the first episode of our Doom Eternal playthrough. This thing is wild, but fun. Um, we will continue with a brand new episode tomorrow. Oh, wow, another one. At 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, right here on the Mark 9 channel, part of Mark After Dark. Before you go, show some love. Hit that like button. Do not forget to subscribe. Any feedback for me, leave it in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Otherwise, just know I appreciate you and your time and hope to see you when we continue with more Doom Eternal. All right, guys, that's it for me. Take care. Be well. I'll see you later.